Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, in previous video, we have deployed React application on AWS S3, but there were like some concerns and improvements that we could have done. So we are going to add all the things in this particular video. So in this video, we are going to deploy React application on AWS S3 via CloudFront. We will also add HTTPS layer by adding certificate. And we are also going to manage DNS via Route 53. And it will look something like this. We will be having this particular domain for ourselves. We will be using HTTPS and not HTTP. And if you will hover or click over here, view site information, it will show connection is secure. So this is what we are going to achieve in the last. So stay tuned and do pause this video till the end. So there are like some steps that we are going to follow throughout the entire video. So step number one is like setting up React app. So we are going to use npx create React app command okay followed by the app name to set up our app then what we are going to do we are also going to set up the s3 bucket and we are going to upload all the files on s3 bucket plus we are going to run the build command because we have to deploy the build okay so let's do some of these steps because like most of the steps i have already covered in one of the video and the remaining steps we are going to cover in this particular video i have run npx create react app then followed by the name of the app command and it takes a while so that's why i have not uh, shown you in the video so our react app is like ready a boilerplate is ready so what we can do if you want to uh, run it we can simply run the command that is like let's suppose npm start okay so it gives the error because uh, we have to go into the directory as well so let's go into the directory and let's run npm start so as you can see this is the boilerplate this is the application that we are going to deploy on AWS S3. So one more thing that we can do. Uh, let's uh, terminate it and let's run the command that is npm run build. So friends, this build command will create the optimized production build. So let this command uh, run. Okay, I think it's going to be finished like in a while. So yeah, cool. As we can see that the build is complete. So in this folder that is demo react s3 that we have created in desktop as we can see we have this build command ready with its with the following content like basically it contains the chunk and everything. So what we can do now uh, let's go go back and let's set up the bucket. So in order to set up the bucket first of all you should have your AWS account after that let's go to s3 and if you don't know how to create a bucket so what I'm going to do. Actually, the domain that I have purchased is www.codingjourneywithakash.net. So that's why I have created a similar name bucket over here. And if you don't know how to create the bucket, then this is the video. You can check the link in the description box. So now what we have to do, this is the bucket. We can simply go inside the bucket. Okay. Or else uh, one more thing we can check from here. That is simply create uh, click on create bucket and you can simply write the name of your bucket over here. And what you can do, you can simply like click on create bucket and your bucket will be created. Plus, apart from that, you can also like choose the reason. Uh, so like, let's suppose if you are in like India, you can choose this Mumbai or else you can choose some another reason as well. Cool. So I am in India, but like by mistake, I have selected this reason. So yeah, no issues. So now what we can do, we can simply go inside our bucket and we can upload the content that we want to serve. So let's click on add files open so i think it is not going to add the uh, okay so let's click on add folder and add this particular uh, okay yeah static folder basically just give me a second because uh, we have added all the files right so but we need to add the static folder as well so let's upload it yeah upload cool i think everything is done now what we can do we can simply click on upload so as you can see, uh, the pending status is getting converted to succeeded. Cool. So upload succeeded. Now what we can do, we can go back and uh, okay. So these things are uh, uploaded. Now what we have to do, we have to do some changes uh, that I've also mentioned in the previous video as well. So let's do those changes like uh, number one could be. So right now it is blocking the public access. We have to edit it and we have to like uncheck this particular checkbox and save changes. So let's type confirm over here. Cool. Now we have to also add the bucket policy. It basically like it's written in JSON and it provides access to the objects that we have stored. Objects means the file that we have stored right now in inside our bucket. So 
let's edit this policy and what i generally do is i use this policy generator and over here what we can do like okay so let's choose the service like s3 bucket policy and over here let's choose the action as like okay so i'm going to choose two action one will be the get object and another will be the uh, put object something like this and over here principal i'm going to select like asterisk and okay so amazon resource name we can get this thing from here and we can simply copy paste this over here now let's click on add statement we got this statement generate the policy simply do control a control c basically like copy and paste this over here now the final step that we have to do is we need to add slash and star or else it won't work save changes so friends this slash star means all the objects inside the bucket i could be wrong as well because i'm just a beginner okay so this is something that i have just googled but uh, if this means something else then please let me know in the comment section as well so cool so we have added the bucket policy plus we have also like uh, uncheck this thing and yeah nothing else one more thing that we have to do we have to go inside the properties and go to the bottom over here it is written like static website hosting right now it is disabled simply click on edit and simply enable it and host a static website and over here we can simply mention the index.html because in react we do have index.html okay that is the default page and cool we don't want to have any redirection rules right now click on save changes so now what will happen is uh, okay so we have uploaded the files and we have uh, mentioned the bucket policy plus we have also uh, ex like uh, enabled public access so if we will click on this particular link it should work cool as we can see we have got this url from s3 that our particular website is hosted on s3 server now so let's go to the presentation so friends these are the few things few steps that we have done successfully like setting up the react app running the build command setting up s3 plus uploading all the files and enabling static static website plus uh, like permissions plus bucket policy so let's click on let's have a look at the next slide now what we can do we can set up the dns via route 53 and we can create records so let's do those things first so if you have to purchase the domain then it will cost you okay around like uh like 11 to 12 dollar so i will show you my registered domain because i have already registered it because it takes like uh, it takes some time and it uh, we also have to fill a form so this is the domain that i have registered that is a uh, coding journey uh, with akash.net okay something like this so if you also have like register a domain what we can do we can simply go on register domain over here what we can do is we can simply type a name like uh, like coding journey something like this okay uh, with akash and we can click on search now it is going to give you some results like search result so over here it has shown like coding journey with akash.com 13 usd so we can simply select this we can click on proceed to checkout and it totally depends upon you if you want to auto renew or like not and i'm not going to do the complete steps but i'm just showing you and this is the form that you will have to fill like contact type your first name last name email id all these things this is the basic detail that you can fill out after this when you're going to click on next and next then you will have to simply make the payment and your domain will be created okay so i'm telling you once again purchasing the domain uh, via route 53 it is going to cost money so yeah so if you just want to like you know if you want to do the practical implementation then you can do this step or else if you just simply want to you know learn so you can simply learn it through the video as well so that totally depends upon you so i do have one registered domain that is coding journey uh, with akash.net okay so now what we can do uh, we can simply create records okay i think uh, let's go to the dashboard of route 53 and from here uh, it is showing us the hosted zone let's go into the hosted zone yeah. let's click on this and over here these are the two records that are already created for us okay so now what we can do we can also create a record that we want so let's go on like let's click on create record uh, so friends, record is basically like where we want to like it's kind of an alias or we can say where we want to route a traffic 
for this particular domain name okay so you can uh, like write www dot you can write like test so it will be the, the url will become something like test dot coding journey with akash dot net so right now i want www so let's give it like a www okay and over here uh, let's keep other things as it is so just simply click on create record okay over here it is uh, saying us to uh, like um, kind of add some ip so what we can do uh, simply click on like switch to wizard click on simple routing okay from here go to next and uh, no records to be created okay so uh, define simple record cool so click on www okay and now this is the thing that we want over here what we want to do is it is saying that choose how route 53 responds to dns queries so from here what we do what we are going to do is we are going to select aws s3 web point okay because what we want to do is we want to route the traffic to s3 server okay whenever the call will be coming to this particular domain it should go to s3 and over here we can choose the reason and i think the reason was uh, us uh, us is this particular thing and uh, this was the endpoint cool so these are the things that you have to select so that you can route the traffic to these things because uh, this is the url that you are getting actually the origin is s3 only that is going to serve your content now we can simply click on define simple, simple record and click on create records so the record is created as you can see these were like this ns and soa this was already created but this is the record that is we have created uh, right now so yeah you can also click on this to have a look at it like uh, this is the record name and uh, this is the value all these things okay so now okay so now what we can do we can have a look uh, if this particular url it works or not so earlier uh, this was the url that we got from s3 okay now let's have a look at this particular url if it works or not okay so it's actually taking some time so we can also uh, check the same thing on incognito so cool it's opening so one more thing that we can see that it is showing not secure because it is using http protocol so now what we can do we can make use of https and we can add some certificate sorry to hold the video in between i just want to make one announcement uh, this is the page via which you can connect with me for any online mock interview or any interview tips. So what we have done right now is we have uh, successfully deployed the React application on uh, Amazon S3 via, and we have also managed the DNS uh, via Route 53. Now the next step will be to set up the certificate and CloudFront. So now what we can do, we can simply uh, like a search in the search bar that is certificate manager. Now let's click on request a certificate, request a public certificate. Over here we can uh, add the fully qualified domain name. And that domain name is www.codingjourneywithakash.net. Yes, I think uh, it only needs uh, this www. Like from www. Yeah, this one. Now what we can do? Uh, let's uh, keep it as DNS validation. Okay, the key algorithm. Let's keep it as uh, RSA 2048 and click on request so right now it's showing uh, no certificates let's refresh it cool so we have got this particular certificate issued okay so status is pending validation let's click on the certificate so over here it is saying like create records in route 53 so simply click on this particular button and click on create record so it is saying that successfully created dns record so now what we can do is uh, it is still showing pending validation let's have a look at uh, view certificate okay so okay so what we can do right now is uh, we can verify it inside our uh, like uh, we have created it in route 53 so simply go to the route 53 simply go to the hosted zone and from here what we can do we can simply go to the uh, like this record list and over here yes it is it has created this cname record basically 
so it should uh, like it should have worked so let's see uh, let's see okay cool so as you can see this particular certificate is issued so one thing is done so we have set up dns via route 53 we have created the records we have also created certificate via certificate manager now the next step is to set up the cloudfront distribution and to modify the record to route traffic via cloudfront so now what we can do is we can simply search cloudfront click on create a cloudfront distribution now over here we need to give it origin domain so we can get the origin domain from the s3 bucket under the property section just simply scroll down to the bottom copy this url and we can simply paste this over here cool now let's scroll down over here we need to do redirect http to https we need to select enable security protections as well so over here it is showing some price estimate like uh, it is saying that it is estimated to cost around this to this million requests per month so it totally depends upon like we can play around it and see how it will calculate the estimated cost so like 1000 requests per month it is showing eight dollar per month apart from this now over here we need to choose the certificate that we have just created and we also need to add the domain name that will be the www.codingjourneywithakash so we just need to copy paste this now let's go to bottom i think everything is done simply click on create distribution so it's showing that new distribution is successfully created now uh, it's showing like last modified deploying over here okay so let's go to the distributions and over here we can see the status has enabled cool that uh, this is successfully done so let's copy this distribution URL and let's see if this is working or not. As we can see, the R Cloudfront distribution is working. Okay. And it's also showing HTTPS over here. That means secure. So now what we need to do, so we have successfully set up Cloudfront distribution. Now we simply need to modify record to route traffic via Cloudfront. Let's quickly do this step. So now what we have to do, we need to go to uh, just simply copy paste this, like copy this. Now we need to go to route 53 in the hosted zone over here over here where we have like added this particular record which we were routing the traffic to s3 now what we can do we can simply edit the record over here in place of we can choose uh, like Cloudfront distribution. And over here, we can choose distribution. And over here, we can simply click on save. One more thing that I want to tell you, like when we create the distribution, it might take some time to reflect. Okay, so you don't need to worry if you have set up the distribution in a correct manner. So cool. now it is showing that when we will go to this particular alias or record, route the traffic to this particular cloud front the data will be served from our s3 server only so now let's have a look at this particular domain that we have created so copy this and let's try to open it on incognito cool. so friends as you can see our domain is opening successfully the url and it is also showing https this is something that was missing in the previous video because it was on http plus we also we have not purchased our own domain so all those things are covered in this particular video and as you can see connection is also secure so let's repeat the steps once more that what we have done first of all we have set up react app using cra command then we have run the build command because we have to deploy the build then we have set up s3 bucket we have uploaded all the files plus Plus, we have enabled static website hosting plus permissions plus bucket policy. After that, we have simply set up the DNS that is via Route 53. Then we have created records. Then we have set up the certificate via certificate manager. Then we have set up Cloudfront distribution. 
and at the last we have modified the record so that we can route the traffic via CloudFront. So this is the diagram for more clear understanding. Like in previous video, we simply deployed React on Amazon S3. We are deploying React on AWS S3 via CloudFront. We are also using certificate via certificate manager and we are also managing DNS via Cloud53. So you go to the network and click on uh, like refresh the page. We can also see in the network tab over here the response headers should be visible that the server is route 53 via CloudFront. So friends, if you have learned something new, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.